Hello and welcome to this uh, webinar on how to create a page like this one with the text attached to the picture. And it's relatively pretty easy. Um, so all you have to do is insert an empty photo box and then you make it the size that you want. And then you're going to insert a text box and you'll just type what you want. I'm going to just do all caps, some are fun. And then um, we're over here. Um, and then you're going to make it a big font, okay? Because you want it to be basically the whole size of the picture. So we're going to go over to the inspector and we're going to click on the uh, text. And I'm going to just choose, um, it's called capitals. Um, oh, this goes fast on me here. Let me find it. Okay, capitals. And I'm going to make it be 100. So I just type it because it only goes to 72. And then um, we're just going to stretch it out. Then you're going to move it down so that it's just barely on the bottom of your picture. And then, um, where did my picture box go? <laughs> okay, let's insert another picture. <laughs> okay, no, empty photo box, let's do that. Okay, something happened to that one. Okay, so we'll just stretch this out. And I'm going to unlock the aspect ratio um, by just clicking on that. And then I'm just going to stretch it out. Okay. Now we'll just center that. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to select both of these elements. And you're going to um, go to the Arrange. And you're going to then Group them. And then you want to um, flatten them. And I've got to remember where it is. Let me see if I can just right-click on it. Yeah. And flatten it, and it's going to give you a warning. You sure you want to flatten it? So we'll flatten it. Okay. Now the next step, in order, if I put the picture in here right now, it's going to fill down here in this white area also. So um, I'm going to use the cutters, and I'm going to go to the magic wand, and I'm going to click on the white part. And the white part here and here, all of these white parts, and just get rid of it. And then I'm going to say erase that. Now, when I take and put my photo in, I hope I can find that photo again. Because <laughs> this just, oh, maybe it was up to the top. Let me just go back to the top and look. Um, I thought it always starts all over, and I wished it didn't. So, okay, there we go. Let's see if we can't find that picture. Okay. And, and it works best with something, I don't know, you just have to kind of play around with the different pictures that you have. And um, let's get past all my old ones. Well, let's just do this one. Okay, so we'll just drag it in and we'll drop it. There. Now all we need to do is add a paper and then, okay, come on, anytime. Okay, so now we have to just find a paper that will go with our picture. And I'm just going to scroll down and see what we've got here. Oh dear, it's spinning and spinning. Anyway, you can put your picture behind that, and then when I made this little frame here in the back, oh, there we go, now it's going to maybe work. <sighs> nope, I guess not. Um, anyway, to make this little frame thing around it, all I did was just add an extra paper, and then I cut the center of it out, uh, and then put a shadow. And you can put a shadow on your picture here, just by clicking on Shadow and then do heavy and it'll just make it uh, stand out a little bit more. There. 
and I'm not sure if we're going to get a paper for a background or not. No, it's not going to let us. Um, I guess we can, oh, there's, okay. Let's, I was hoping to get kind of like a Halloween-y one if we had one. And, well, let's just do this orange. We'll add it to the paper and then drag it down below. There, now we've got our page. So I hope that you um, enjoy it and that you learn something and have a great day.